Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another nightmare of, or not so much of, but another nightmare that is, Boulder Skate 3. We just cannot seem to make the right decision, no matter how we go about it. So, with that being said, it is our first night back in the Druid's Grove, so let's chit-chat with a few people while we try to figure out what we're going to do with this whole hag situation. Looking at something? <clears throat> How did you know I was there? Well, he's holding up a mirror, so that's a stupid question. Just look. What are you doing? No, let's just leave it. I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Do you miss it seeing your own face? Vanity is a weakness. It's a small price to pay for a vampire's power. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs, and my eyes turned red. What color were they before? You have nothing to worry about. It's a very good face. Uh, it's for the best. You're not exactly aging gracefully. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Well, Another there thing I've a broken lost. mirror. Stare into his eyes, taking in every detail of his face. Are we romancing this man? Also, I'm digging the Twitch clothing. What? I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What do you see? Uh, strong piercing eyes, a crease when you laugh, your mole definitely grabs my attention. I see someone wasting my time. Damn. Um, <clears throat> the crease when you laugh. Excuse me, I'm an eternally young vampire, not your doting grandmother. <clears throat> you can do better. What else? <laughs> that dangerous smile, the way your hair her curls around your ears. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. <clears throat> You're pretty good. Not Gale, good. Ho ho ho! Damn! You don't have Liesl's charm, but you're alright. No. The number two is definitely the bigger of the two burns. Ding. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but. Being reflected in someone else's eyes. Hello, well, what's going on, do Brutal? Oh man. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Is Volo gone for good if I told him he can't pierce my eye out? Also, I thought I was supposed to be meeting up with. The tieflings tonight. Or is this because this camp is not near Huh, okay. Interesting. 
Maybe it's because this campsite is not near the Druid's Grove that now I'm missing out on that interaction. Let's take random. There you go. Job hunt us over. I got scouted. Nice. Hey, that's awesome. Congratulations. I know you've been stressing that a little bit. Starting on the 5th. That's awesome. Oh. More nightmares? Oh. Oh. Hello there. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. You move your laptop? Camera's in a different place? It's just slightly to the side. I'm just trying to sit somewhat more comfortably. <clears throat> um, but you're looking for solutions in the wrong place. Oh, there must be a way to get rid of the tadpoles. It must be worth a shot. I mean, if you're observing me, you're definitely watching me do everything wrong. I mean, it's getting to the point where I am contemplating playing it now on my PlayStation 5 as a controlled second run after this run, like concurrent, not necessarily concurrently, but like, I mean, I've done like, what, 16 hours or so into the game at this point, but to run things more smoothly where, hey, save the druid, save the goblin, things that, had I known that's how the mechanics worked, I could have fixed. Let's put it that way. Um, so what should I be doing? Tell me who you are. Let's start with who are you really? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Interesting. So I'm curious, what would have happened if I would have let Volo take the parasite out with the knife? Or what would have happened if I simply went along and given the hag my eye? Hmm. How do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? Good question. I thought you should... I thought you said you could protect me. What is the sickness? How do you know so much about these tadpoles? Tell me more about this magic. Um... Let's start with how do I destroy the source of the tadpole? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, Carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. Huh. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, 
So would you. Uh. So, how are you protecting me is the better question. How is it that you protect me? Yeah, good question. I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. <clears throat> Is there anything I can do to help you? Tell me where I can find you. Wait, what do you need me to do? Hmm. So if I have time for one last question, seeing as it's not going to give me time to ask all the questions. Tell me where I can find you so that we can actually start meeting together. No. It isn't safe. The power I use to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, Destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hmm. So I'm gonna do a PS5 run too. Yeah, it's probably run concurrent. I'm gonna probably run like my You know, like I'll, I'll run both at the same time. I'll probably make like a new character in all reality, since Shadowheart's cool and all, but she's not what I thought she would be. She's kind of... I don't know, I'm, I'm not a fan of her, like, character in all reality. Like, her actual physical... Like, her decision-making, her... Her interaction style with the others is not what I thought it would be, so it kind of like throws me off a bit. It's not what I was hoping for. Okay, did Volo leave? Did he run away? No. I had just rescued you, and I wanted more interactions with him. Okay. At least we're healed. Gale, you have arcane John, hunger. I'm sure. Before we run away, go take a Most look at the excellent. treasure box. You're gonna find something that we can destroy. You're gonna run. Over there anyway. Go trap the saw. I'll compare that. We're a long way from water deep. We are a long way from water deep. What are you wearing? Much better. Okay. I'll see if we can use that. Anything else we can drop off for the time being. The Annals of Father's Gate. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor, where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished are simple legends today. But the wealth he returned with years later is a hard fact. Valderan made Grey Harbor rich. Heskel built docks, funded businesses, and raised strong walls to protect it all. 
one of the gates into the flourishing city was named in his honor, but so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village that started it all. The name Great Harbor has been relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps, but Baldur's Gate? That's a name on the lips of every traveler in favor. Ah, oh, love it. Drop that off. The Druid's Ledger be read. Approachable Eden. The pages are stained with dust and mud, but between the streets of high dream while traveling. There were those that warned me against straying from the river, but I searched up for Ah, uh, there it is. The Devil You Know, an autobiography. Have you ever had a god change your blood? It is a horrifying thing. Even for those who may desire it, a few tieflings wished for Asmodeus to claim their bodies, only to be given no choice in the matter. It is not as if we were left before the Arch Devil Gamma. Our people have always struggled against the notion of devil kin, as if a single drop of infernal ichor inescapably corrupts. How amusing when so many other villainly sell their souls to fiends, if their culture as a whole escapes the blame. By what method can we, can we redeem ourselves when the crime is not ours? I would drive a blade into every warlock that aided Asmodeus' damned ritual, but personal vengeance cannot undo the will of a god, much less one as slippery as the Lord of Lies. When every passerby thinks you as a thief and heretic, it is easily tempting to become one. The only thing that has stopped you is knowing that Asmodeus wants nothing more than for all of us to fall from Interesting. Soul coins. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted on a site of average as the first player from the volcano of the Pope. I'm pretty sure I read this. I promise this book and nothing else goes to the contract. This is crummy leather armor, so drop that off. The folks on the Fey Run. The book is a clear work in progress, though already extensive chronicling various musical styles and notations from across Fey Run. Amid the orderly symbols in black and pink, one page stands out. It is a wash in color and meandering arts. The script below reads Iconic by Agma, I hear it and I see it and I know it and I feel it, but I can't write it, can I? Okay. I wonder what the next move is. Oh, shit. Okay. I might just have to make this scroll of aid, charm curse, feather claw. We use a bunch of stuff. I forgot I stole so much from that lady. You might have to start selling something. No. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend, she is not your family. Do not eat food unless she is watching. Do not drink tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Oh, the word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Um, well, that is good to know since I was going to try on one of those masks. <clears throat> so we'll sell those and let someone else be a victim to that. Litter to Kaga. Oh, yeah. I read that. The Mistress of Night. There once was a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. 
Her mother despaired, for she wished for her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors stopped calling, her friends stopped writing, and she still cried. You poor child, Char whispered in her ear. Don't, they only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you, none but I. The woman spoke to Char who was She prayed to Char who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true life. And then Char asked her to take a vial, a small vial, an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquor and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Char to love her, to be proud of her, and then people became so. People died, but Char loved her, and the woman loved Char. Now, men and women alike travel across the land to see her. Not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is the high priestess of Char, and her word is law. Sounds like Char is not exactly, not exactly her um, best friend there. I knew the girl as traveling folk with reputation for fortune telling, but you only start to know a people when you sit down and share a tale. At the side of the road, over a pot of bubbling stew, they told me they were children of Saloon, and claim, and claim a history stretching back to ancient Rashomon itself. There are tales of two young Mishlarn witches who refused to follow the instructions of the elders. In frustration, the older witches turned the young maidens into songbirds and locked them in a golden cage, saying if they refused to learn, at least they could make music. But the Mishlarn escaped and flew across Peyrun. Eventually, exhausted, they landed in the garden of a cleric, who blessed them in the name of Saloon, breaking the curse and transforming them back into the human form. Since then, they have been Saloon's children. All Gur peoples trace their line back to these young maidens. Indeed, some Gur matriarchs even take maiden as a title. Of course, as the beloved of Saloon, they no longer practice the witch Laren, witch Laren's witchcraft. But some say it remains in the blood that it lets them catch glimpses of the future. It was a magnificent tale, and some excellent stories. But was any of it true? I shall investigate when I reach Rashomon, perhaps to tell a different story. Hydrate. Can do. Are you trying to tell me my voice is no longer sounding good? Okay, what is this? Once per turn after the rare dashes, it takes a similar action. It can jump without using a bonus action. I really like this, but I don't know who I could possibly give this to at the moment, and I don't want to destroy this, so you hold on to it, but don't eat it. And also, I really wish they would let me stack these bottles, because clearly it's a large bottle in a large bottle, so why are we not able to stack this? I know there's some mods to the game. That starts you know, allows for stacking, and I'm highly tempted to pick it up. We're gonna run to the chest. This is all peace. stuff I'm gonna take off screen in all reality. When I make my videos for my channels and whatnot, I will ensure that all this stuff gets removed. This is super time wasting, in my opinion. Okay, I feel like I need the smoke barrel. And I'm gonna need these bombs. Like, stuff that I put away for a reason. Uh, 
I uh, just gave all the books. No, not all the books. Here. The library is gonna start getting filled out. Um. Oh, I have that there. Okay, so if this is the food box or whatever, then uh, this is the library. I guess the money box and the junk box can all be the same. I'm not throwing nearly as much as I thought I would, so... Let's drop at least some of the stuff off to get the weight down a bit. I wish I could like double click and drop this into here and like this is the... Oh, what is this? A loop? You can carry the loop. Do some squats too. The soundtrack in this game is very well made. I'm loving it. Yeah, I will admit, um, after listening to the game soundtrack, once I got to that bard, I, um, went out of my way and purchased the soundtrack, which is why you now hear the soundtrack in <clears throat> my intro and during break music I have, like, songs picked out. Bombs. There you go. See, like, some of the stuff, if I, if I hold it, then let me stack it, you know? I don't know. Toad 25. Okay. And Gale. What a day. Or, sorry, Which Gale. Way to the nearest library. May it please you me need to find the cup. I want to make you take a dagger or something and eat that for the time being, seeing as you're hurting. Here, drop off the books. the trunk drawer. <clears throat> so yeah, I have a bunch of masks that I guess uh, I'm going to give to kids or something, see what happens. Just be like, here you go, kid. Wear it and tell me what happens. What do you see? Damn, I'm evil. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, I'm never gonna take anything from the crap. Okay. To the box, to the box, to the box. Mm. Missed that one. Leave you. Good day, sir. Good day indeed, my man. How you doing, Matt? Alright, here's the box I need. Gonna find something that you can eat. Just not sure what we can sacrifice. I mean, we have stuff to 
sacrifice, don't get me wrong. Absence aid, no. Goblin's undoing. Goblins have disadvantage on attack rolls against a are you kidding? I could have used that the other the other day when I got TPK. The ritual dagger. After a successful attack with this dagger, the builder receives a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Dang. I don't want to get rid of that either. The jagged spear. Tortured creatures may receive disadvantage on constitution. Um That's the promise, Miss. Hey, this spear is better than what I'm wearing right now. Weapon enchantment plus one. When the spear misses its target, I will this next attack all against it for a true strike. You know what? That's fine. Gail approves, I'm all glad It is a strange experience. Each time anew, like a lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. But this doesn't feel quite right. It never feels right, but it relieves. Of course, it doesn't relieve. Are you all right? Is there something we can do? Dude, if that tells me that wasn't magical enough, I'm gonna drop you. <laughs> Please tell me we didn't just waste a piece of magical equipment. No, let's start off with telling me what's happening. The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to. Retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Well, you do that. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Okay, well, it's, it's gone. So I'll take it for now. You need to start carrying your weight a little better, even though I, I say that, in all reality, he does a good job of carrying his weight. Hmm. She, however, is not really carrying her weight. That's why I'm tempted to make another playthrough where I just dip out and play it on the PlayStation. Because there's also other options I've noticed in the PlayStation version. Like, I've played a little bit just to see how it compares. And there's some options in the PlayStation version that I don't find here, like, non-lethal attacks. Where do I see this here? How can I just knock someone out? And that's not an option, for reasons unknown to me. So, that's one of those other reasons why I'm tempted to make a second run. Alright, well... Teleport here? Commence battle. A red cap? A red cap blood sage? A 
red cap, blood sage, and just a red cap. <clears throat> okay, so now teleporting does not necessarily always mean that we are in the clear. Let's get rid of these blood sages first. Critical hit. Good hit. Quickly. We're down. Can you take cover? No, that taking cover takes an action. Okay. Time to strike. This is just a plain regular attack, right? <laughs> See, I can pommel on this off, like, which is not lethal, leaving them dazed, but that's not always an option. I want you up front. Come down. Alright. Ah, that was just the wrong person. I wanted the mage, not. That's the other reason. She lifts a lot of her attacks continuously. Granted, that could just be, you know, the game where she's lifting stuff. What the heck was that? Love Oh, it's a cantrip. Healing. 3 to 8 to 4. Crash for one another's allies before it heals when it kills a creature. Oh, good luck, bud. Good luck with that. Ignis! Not enough movement. I will come to support, so that's fine. Six. Really? You hit the low end of the mark. Really? Like Sometimes I feel like they definitely like don't exactly roll the best they could. You're walking up slowly. Got it. On it. 
Must be building a finesse weapon. Of course it's not. So how come when I use this weapon, it never is an actual choice? Like how come my damage is so much lower? Are you not proficient with this? Are you not proficient with dual wielding? Me taking off and on my weapons uh, has clearly been an action, duly noted. But now I'm actually going to be doing the proper damage. This is gnarly. Not enough action, but that's okay. Eat him. That's fine. Use the bonus now. Time to strike. Earth, did you just do three attacks and nailed everything with like max damage? But if I do anything, that's that's gnarly. All right. One, two. have done so much more healing, but it was like the bare minimum. Ah. Yep, of course you with that, because why wouldn't you? Ooh, that is a good spell actually. Why are you no longer doing the main damage? Why is my weapon no longer showing up the, with the proper damage? What even is happening?
moi. And somehow you're disadvantaged. Target is too close. that either. Ah. I don't understand why my weapon does not do any traction for damage, but... And somehow you poisoned me. Up maneuver them. Victory awaits. You bow. Oh, <laughs> Wow, he does not like him. Forty percent. but you know what? On I go. Now what might you be hiding? Ooh. A couple stones. Gemstone. However, uh, we're gonna take a short rest and do some healing. Because clearly, um, 
We're struggling with the bare minimum here. Walk slowly through the water, make sure there's no trap. Let's see what we have here. Goblin camp, we're not gonna be able to go back to because hunt down Carlock. Okay, I don't even know how to get to Carlock at this point. Emerald Grove. Like at this point, I'm not even sure. Travel through the Underdark. The Underdark is obsessed with that myth of ruins. Find the path to Moonrise Tower. We'll need to explore. Alright, you know what? We'll do that. We need a purpose. We need a path. We need something that we know how to do. So. We know there's a potential exit this way. However, um, I feel like all options are bad. No matter what option I take here, it's it's all gonna go to hell. So we definitely got the spores here. What is this? Petrified drow. Yeah, like, come on, game. How is that not? How is that not supposed to scare the crap out of everyone here? We've already got a petrified drow here. Not to mention there's a chasm here. And, uh... All right. Let's go down. <laughs> okay, hold on. What is this? Can't control. Lazel's just laughing her ass off. Watch the shadows. It's in that. I don't know what that is. Burn it. I don't know if that was any wise choice. Um, 
happening. Hold, okay, hold on. She's befuddled for one turn. You got 10 hit points and rapport sports. You can communicate tele telepathically with one another. And somehow my character's knocked down. Because whatever this is. You dash. Nope, jump dash. I need you to, uh. Immediately. And somehow you got knocked down too. Oh, what the heck is that? A boulette? Oh. Watch your back. What's happening? Well, hello. Who is this? Someone there. Yeah. So you just ran back out. Okay. You know what? Moving. Come up here. Hi, ground. <laughs> Creator, destroyer. I don't know what this is. So let's freeze it. I am fury. I am death. have you backing up because clearly um I don't know what this thing is. So stand together because it's the best thing I can think of for now. This thing is not gonna mess around. Stat ass on me and rock okay. Um, like a bonus map. 
Drawing is an action. Got it. Okay. And somehow your melee weapon doesn't really work. Something I'm gonna have to look into at one point or another. Swift and lethal. I need you dashing, and I need you to dash through whatever funny cloud this is because. No time to waste. I can't have you like sitting here laughing your butt off. Ready. Look, I'll ask them. Oh, you're gonna run. Wait, what? Deathly leap. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Ah. Holy shit. Gale is down. Tormented! I need you to... You're not even close to doing anything. How do you not hide the fence? Okay. My path be true. Not enough movement. <sighs> Not enough movement. Oh, all of a sudden that's no longer an issue. You're about to die. Have to keep going. Fifty three damage. Was it a 53 or a 5 and a 3? Um... Alive or dead? Of 
course. Not gonna suffice for nothing. My faith will guide me. Will it? Because I feel like you're kind of sucking at the moment. Take two. I mean, <laughs> Tim Askin torch stalks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one. Time for Danny. Just check for anything useful. Looks like there was a fight. No love lost between Dwegar and Mykonos, it seems. I can't even tell if this is like the right way or not. An executed gnome. Come on. Short sword of first blood. Deals an additional 80, 1 to 8 piercing damage to target that still have all their hit points. Your weapon, because clearly you can't use me, and I don't understand. How? It says five to seventeen. Why are you not doing five? How? What is happening with us? I don't understand. Why are you not able to use the full strength of the weapon? Are any of you guys like struggling with your weapons? Three to twelve. Three to twelve. 
one with the weave. Zero to five. Zero to five. Indolence breeds madness. Five to twelve. Five to twelve. So why are you not Don't able to use the me. weapon in your hand? This is five to seventeen. Like, what, what are you missing? I am really confused about this right now. Why are you not doing the damage it says you should be able to do? Like, even your piercing strike, 4 to 9. Your flourish, 1 to 4. Like... You're a rogue, dude! Aren't you? So why are you not able to do your actual damage? Alright, I'm gonna equip this. 1 to 6. Concussive Smash, 1 to 6. 1 to 6. Zero to five. Uh, are you just not able to use certain magical weapons? Are, I, I'm not. I'm not getting this. Why are you not able to do the willing whip? Grants resistance. What happens if I give this to you? Eager for battle. I mean, this weapon is technically even better than the one that you're carrying right now. Oh, you can't do that either. So why are you not able to do 14 damage with this either? The second... I'm very confused by this. What's next? What's next is I'm trying to figure out why certain people are dum dums. What? It's light. It's a finesse weapon. You should have no Trust issue with this. Why are you struck? I don't, I don't get it. I don't. I want you to use it. Because I feel like we're gonna need it. Let's have it. Uh, sorry. I'm not trying to t tab out. On my way. I'll just help myself. You're out of spells, but at the same time, I smell a trap. 
rare. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Where did you smell a, a trap? Someone. I don't see the glow of a trap, so please show. A Dwergar slave hunter. Get cool. Okay. Into the shadows. One true way. What? Holvik. Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us. Hold up your palms. Hold up your palms on peace. No, no, no. Peace, buddy. I don't. I can't afford a fight at this point. Please. What's this? Got ourselves an infiltrator. You move pretty quietly. Not quietly enough for my liking, though. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Um, I could have killed you before you even noticed me, but did stand down. Take your hand off that axe before you lose it. I can be discreet. No need for bloodshed. Fights tend to make quite a racket. That's what you want to avoid. Um, let's go persuasion. I don't need to fight you. Minus one. God, oh man, this is gonna be a toughie. Come on, we can technically do it. You know, of course you wouldn't be able to guide me properly. Roll again. There we go. That's the best guidance you've given ever. This is the first time I've ever seen a four out of you. Fine. I'll let you live. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Uh, that's fair enough. I mean, I can help you if you want. What's the terrain like ahead? Anything useful you can share? But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Share? Yeah. You really are in the wrong place, son scum. Try this for useful. Falling down a deep, dark hole is the kindest death you'll find in the Underdark. Sure, I understand that. What are you doing Told here? you. Hunting. Slave ran away. Took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Ooh, some more information on Moonrise. Okay. Would you really kill someone for a pair of boots? I'm not. I'm not helping a slave catcher. Your problems are your own. Um. Maybe I can help. help. You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head. Make you see things. Off my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Uh... I mean, would you really kill someone for a pair of boots? Probably. It's... Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. Don't work for free. You're either brave or stupid to be worried about your purse in these parts. Get those boots. Then we can talk rewards. Maybe you'll even be allowed into the Absolute's ranks. Deep Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. 
Who is the Sergeant Duran? She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. Okay. Um, I'll take some information, I suppose. I didn't know I could do that, but curious. In the underground, in the underground city of Mantle Dareth lived a deep gnome called Sadie and her father Sam. Each morning, the hardworking Sadie traveled to the nearby grotto, pick and pan, to mine gems. Each night, the lazy Sam would count them and demand for more. You cannot rest until I am the richest man in all of Feyre. One day, Sadie encountered a stranger on her path home, a haggard creature, made of skin and small stature. A Darrow, exclaimed Sadie. Please, said the Darrow, I have no money in the home. I beg a single ruby, so I might sell it for food. Sadie found pity in her heart and gave the beggar a ruby. She told her father about the Darrow on returning home. Do not believe his lies, warned Sam. Darrow are selfish, demented creatures. Give him no more. Must I cast you away? The deer was waiting for Sadie the next day. Please give me ten rubies, so I might sell them for shelter. Sadie, moved by his plea, did as he asked, and journeyed home, where Sam removed her. An inferior hall, he said. This will not stand. On the third day, the deer appeared in the grotto. A hundred rubies, so I might be, so I might feed my brothers and sisters. The kind-hearted Sadie handed the beggar her entire sack of gems. As he took it, there was a great flash of light. Where the beggar had stood was a massive gold dragon. You prove yourself generous of heart and spirit. Come to my lair and share in my golden hoard. Sadie eagerly accepted the journey of the dragon and his aqueous tide of it. One year later, Sadie passed a beggar near the grotto, her own father, Sam. Sadie, I have no money and no home, he said. I beg of you, a single ruby, so I might sell it for food. Sadie found no pity. Worth examining. Oh, I can't, I can't pick any of that up. Waypoint discovery. What creatures thrive in a lake this dismal? Hold up, hold up. I'll take a waypoint. One waypoint, please. There, there's like a whole bunch of dead bodies here. This Uh-oh. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it to 150 is a mystery. 
but it's cause for celebration either way. When he saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, I swear he teared up. I had only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. The lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift. But Mirna claimed she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. The barrel warden didn't say a word when the snore started. Leibach was lucky she got a soft touch. I'd best get some sleep. Orders just came in for practice shovels and pickaxes for the young ones, and I've yet to harvest the circle. Where does the time go? Okay. Um, I can't help but notice that this is a giant skeleton or something humongous. What lies within? A ledger dealing detailing the appearance of the quality of numerous gemstones that have been mined from rock. Fate, color, clarity, and more are noted next to a sketch of each stone. An underlying entry for a sizable ruby is written in the shape of excited culture. So there's a fancy uh fancy ruby about. Water damaged letter. Let's pick that up too. A water damaged letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore of Evanley, as Drigo are rumored to be prowling in the area. Okay, well. Diary. A badly charred diary with property of Woolworth written on the inside cover. In one of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Marcus again, now that he's departed from the surface world. I guess we'll never know unless we find a Marcus in the. that some beer should be avoided at all costs is clearly home to an industrious sort of fellow, the sort who is quick to dismiss the country's history as the Nether East vast estate, but will steal your notes from the daylands and sell you, and sell you to pirates all the same. Thankfully, these pirates were set upon by another group of buccaneers, who were more than happy to take the scribe on board. I was excited to document the march, as we are headed for Penitent Fest, the gateway to the the road leads straight to Rashomon. Alas, I've spent all of my time forging ship manifests. Also, you're telling me they're not true. Got it. Wait, is this where I came from? Ho oh ho! This is 
definitely not where it came from. The air is ripe with magic. Adventure awaits. <laughs> Curiosity must be satisfied. Oh, okay, so this is where we started that from. Full of it. Okay. Feel the boat. But there's more of it over here. I can't seem to get over here, right? No, oh, actually, I don't know that. Let's go back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Bother. Is it because I'm running? Yes. The dread hollow.
time, Brett. That's a good trick. Keeping low. What's the plan? Victory is assured. Please, Mistra. <laughs> Let's turn someone inside out. Yes, here. Victory awaits. On the move. Need to act fast. On I go. Gotcha. <laughs> Onward, ever onward. Calm and quiet, that's the way. Saving. No, no, run, run. Everybody run. Disengage. Where, where's my disengage option? Not enough blood. Not enough space. We've exhausted all of our spells. Death sleep already. Oh, never mind. Disengage. Where is the disengage on? Like, run as fast as you going. can. Let's have some carnage. Get the hell out of dodge. Yeah, there is no time to waste. What fools these mortals be? It's not fools, it's uh. We need you to run, Night run, to run. <sighs> no. 
no, no, no. We, we run. We run. Don't turn back. Get out of here. Get as close as you can to safety and then. Take your. Uh, okay, um, we're gonna stay in the Underdark, where our new friends are hiding. We're gonna chill for there for now, leave it at that, um, I've got at least at least a per got at least at least at least at least at least I'm like a little broken record. We have at least now like a purpose. Find the missing food strap. Well I might need to exit up this way or something. I don't know, but Oh, that monster is not screwing around. I'm mean, not in a position where you have enough can supplies. Oh, you're telling me you have enough. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah, because you cannot put a life with me, uh. I mean, we're all pretty well hurt. And it appears we have lost Volo already. Sad. Oh, why have we used... Why are we using so much extra? No. That it, made, that it wanted me to use more. <sighs> okay. Well rested. We can drop off all our stuff and then hmm. take it from there. Everybody drop everything off to me, and I'll... Tasha's hideous laughter. Rotten tomatoes. I guess it's nice. Um, but they're struggling. They're struggling to get by, if I'm being honest. Whatever comes, I'm ready. No rest for the wicked, I see. I'm ready. Lost in thought. Thank you. 
mean, I'm glad we haven't, like, crossed any drow yet, but it's only a matter of time before that's gonna happen, too. Shop. Ready and willing. Do you learn any of us? No. No. So, I might start using the spell books that I already have, just to kind of, uh, save some spell slots in the future. I'm ready. As that's always been an option. I've known that, granted. Um... But it can't hurt. Like, I like to keep spells... You know, you know, it makes me sound like, oh, uh, you know, like, save every item until the end of the game, and then guess what? I'm not using them that very well. No, um, I mean, I have some experience with this game in the sense that I've played some of the old ones, and I know how important items can be. So you do somewhat want to, I don't want to say, like, not be wasteful, but like you want to play it with caution in the sense that you don't want to be wasteful. Rotten fruit is worthless. It's just an item I can sell. Okay. So it's just junk. I'm not sure why, again, some stuff doesn't stack. I feel like I'm not to. I'm not throwing weapons anyway, I'm gonna lighten up the load here. I do have some apples, I guess I can put away. They're the same apples, I'm pretty sure. You can just put them together. Money box. Is that money box? What happened to my money box? Worth the rubbish. Uh, 
where we will call it a day. Um, not quite sure yet what I can do to get around this. That monster is not screwing around, to be honest. What am I finding here? Um, just hoping it was another magical staff, to be honest. Um, so yeah. We gotta make our way over here. I don't think there was a passage right here, but maybe there's a passage up here. So we'll see what we can do there. Um, I mean, we fought the hook horror here, I wanna say. So we can always try and explore this way to get over here. Which, granted, I have no clue what's over here. Other than what we could tell from over here, where it looks like another building. But who knows how truly big this uh, underdark section is. So. Yeah. For now, we leave it for that. We'll attempt to get over here next time. And. Yeah. We're still alive. We've only died once, so not bad for one run. Lost, whoop, caps lock. Lost in the Underdark. Alrighty, folks. Thank you all for watching, for hanging out, for sticking around, and I shall see you all next time. Hold on, take care, and goodbye.